Hey everyone, welcome back to the Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny. Today I have another canning project going on. I am going to be canning up some French market soup. French market soup is so delicious and it's pretty affordable. It is basically a bean soup with mixed meats. This is another one of those soups that anything goes. Every recipe I've ever seen for it is all different. Today, I'm gonna be making it with some ham. I portioned some ham out into smaller bags. I diced up, I had made a ham. I used what I could and then for the leftovers, I diced them up and then put them in small bags and then put them in a big freezer bag. That, that way I have ham available for meals. So I'm gonna be using that ham and I'm gonna be using some chicken thighs. I'm also gonna be using some 15 bean mix. I am pressure canning this. If you don't like your 15 bean mix pressure canned, then you can go ahead and use a bean mix of your choice. Generally, the, the French market soup is just made with a mixture of all kinds of beans. So whatever you have on hand, whatever you have available, you can use whatever you like for beans. I love the 15 bean mix pressure canned. It does have lentils and split peas in it, but when those will disintegrate a little bit, but then it kind of offers a thicker, creamier consistency to your soup that I absolutely love. And then your other beans stay intact. That being said, I'm gonna be using some onions, garlic, celery, fresh parsley, and fresh lemon juice in a chicken broth. It is going to be so good. This recipe originates from New Orleans. That's all I really know about it. I've eaten it for years, I like it. Um, I make it different ways all the time depending on what I have on hand. So if you've got ground beef on hand and you wanna put ground beef in there and some smoked sausage, you can totally do that. I love to make this on the stove top with kielbasa and chicken. You can use turkey sausage, you can use sausage, you can use uh, dark meat chicken, white meat chicken, uh, beef, chunks, ground beef, whatever you want to use in your French market soup, anything goes. Use what you have and use what your family likes. I'm going to show you how I'm canning it today, so let's get started. In my pot here, I have um, my water. I'm going to use um, my powder chicken bouillon, of course. Because it's what I have on hand. I would never be able to can enough chicken broth in this place. I can chicken broth, turkey broth, all that stuff. I can't keep it on the shelf. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put in um, two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. I'm doing uh, heaping tablespoons because I've got 14 cups of water in here. I'm going to get this going. You, if you have chicken broth that you've made, that you've frozen or canned and you want to use your homemade broth, feel free to use your homemade broth, whatever you have. I have 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. Those are going in. Just put a little bit of water to swish this out. And I have about a quarter cup of fresh parsley that I've diced up. I am gonna throw that in. I am going to put in here two tablespoons, or two, two teaspoons. Actually, maybe a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. Putting in, I'm putting in some onion powder. I like broth to have a flavor, so if you wonder why I'm always adding these extra things, it's so that the broth has flavor. Also going to add in here a little bit of um, paprika because I like it in here. Fresh cracked black pepper and I'm going to add one teaspoon of kosher salt. Um, I'll taste it before I actually can everything up to make sure that the broth has enough salt in it. I don't want it salty but I don't want it flat either. I'm going to bring this to a boil. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna turn the heat down and I'm gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my um, canner on. I've got my water in it, I've done my safety checks. My jars are um, in the hot soapy water with white vinegar soaking. So I'm gonna get this going 
I am going to chop up my onions and my celery and my ham and my chicken and wash up my jars and we'll be back to get this stuff going. Oh, by the way, I have already done the quick soak method on my beans. They are over there draining. I have my chicken thighs cut up. Now, if you can see, this isn't a lot of chicken thighs, but we have a lot of other stuff going through, uh, going into here. I've only used about two pounds of chicken thighs. And again, you can adjust the amounts. It's soup. You can, you can basically create your own soup recipe. I have ham also, so it's going to be ham and... Um, chicken in here. So I'm going to go ahead and divide my ham up. This is about two cups of ham, two pounds of chicken. I didn't measure the ham in pounds because this is leftover ham that I already had chopped up. So I'm just going to, it's not going to take a lot of ham in each one to flavor it. So I'm going to get the, the ham in there. Ham is one of those ingredients that um, is safe to can as an ingredient. You can can ham and bean soup, ham and potato soup, whatever you want. They say it's not good to can just big chunks of ham and broth in here. Reason being, the smoking process makes the, meter, makes the meat more dense and harder to heat up through the middle. So it hasn't been tested either. But it has been tested to can ham as an ingredient, as an ingredient in your soup, in your um, beans, whatever you want. I'm also going to divide up my onions. I have two onions that I've chopped up here. So I'm just going to divide them up accordingly. Each jar is just going to get a little of everything. It's hard to give amounts because if I were going to, what if I used two onions that were a little bit bigger than this or one onion that was a little bit bigger than this, it would throw the amounts off. So I say two onions and divide them up. It's not going to hurt if there's a little more onion in this jar than in this jar. Here are my celeries. Again, just go ahead and divide them up. Garlic. I am just going to break this apart and put one clove into each jar. If you wanted to add it to your broth instead, you could totally do that. I do sometimes, but I actually prefer to do it this way. That way I know each one of these is getting garlic. Okay, that was my last garlic. I'm gonna clean up my garlic mess real quick. And then I have my beans, and I did pre-soak these. So I'm gonna get these in. I am putting about a half a cup of beans into this soup. Do I have a half cup or do I wanna? You know what, I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup. Okay, so three quarters of a cup of beans in each jar. Um, that still leaves a lot of room for broth. The last thing I'm gonna do is squeeze some uh, fresh lemon juice into my broth. I'm gonna put my um, strainer right over the broth. This lemon is so big it won't fit in my uh, lemon squeezer. These are off the tree from my neighbor's backyard right here. <laughs> my little Meyer lemons didn't do well this year, this winter, because my orange tree died. I gotta plant another one. But lemons, citrus are something we never have a shortage of here in Arizona. 
All right, I'm gonna get my broth in. Uh, actually, I wanna taste it first, make sure there is enough salt. It smells divine. Hi, baby. Hi. And that little pop of fresh lemon juice, yum. Oh yeah, yum. Okay, I am gonna start filling these up with broth. Make sure to debubble. We have meat, beans, all that stuff in here. Leaving one inch head space. Keep in mind, beans absorb liquid. So I have one inch head space. Now when they come out of the canner, they'll probably be like an inch and a quarter down. If you want to add any extra spices or flavors to this, you can. I have seen some people add chili powder to this. So if you if you like chili powder, you could totally do that. Just gotta make sure my head space is up there to an inch. That ham is also going to flavor this broth. It's going to be so good. This is another very budget friendly meal, especially if you just did it on the stove top. Well, this way too, but um, just make a big old pot of this. Oh yeah, definite budget meal. And right now, we're probably all kind of focused a little bit more on budget meals. FYI, if you don't like meat or you're vegetarian, leave out the meat and bulk it up with a little bit extra veg. If you wanna put some carrots in here, if you wanted to add some potatoes in here, um, Zucchini wouldn't fare well. Um, green beans, you could totally put some green beans in here too. And just do um, a vegetarian spin on it. That would be great. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe the rims and I'm using a towel. I got no paper towel in the house. Imagine that. Yeah, don't. Nope. <laughs> it's all outside in the pantry. There's napkin right there. It's okay. Give me a minute, I'm grabbing the towel. I had to wait for him to grab me a paper towel. I'd be waiting to do this half a day. <laughs> okay, I am again using four jar, four jars. Oops, that doesn't go on there. Four jars lids. And they actually have been working out pretty good. Um, just the water bath. The what was it, the second time I used them? The first time they all sealed wonderful. Second time a few of them didn't, but I did a whole heck of a lot in the water bath. So. Putting these on fingertip tight. And I gotta go grab small rings because I forgot to grab those. All right, I am putting these guys right into my simmering canner. Pure deliciousness right here. And the fun thing is I have enough stuff to do one more canner load. So I am pretty excited about that. So I will be doing um, 14 quarts. I just have to do, uh, I can't do a double stack of quarts in, in this canner. It's a 921 and I sold my big canner. It just was too big for this area and I was scared to use it. So. All right, I am gonna get the lid on. And 
you're all buckled down good. Okay, get my heat up on a between five and six to bring it up to temperature. Now remember, when, when this starts steaming, steaming like a freight train, you're gonna time that process 10 minutes, then you're gonna put your weight on for however much pressure you need for your altitude, minus 15. As soon as this comes up to pressure, my weight will jiggle. That's how I know. I then start my timer for 90 minutes. These guys will process 90 minutes in the quartz. If you are going to process pints, they're gonna process for 75 minutes. Then make sure you adjust your heat. You can't leave that on high. <laughs> I can get mine to a three and it will stay um, regulated for 15 pounds of pressure. So I will see you when I am pulling these guys out. All right, these guys are done. I am pulling them out. Look at that. They're smelling pretty good. I used all four jar lids I told you that in the beginning and it looks like they are all sealed so uh, the four jars have been doing really well for my pressure canning I only have those couple of failures the four failures through the uh, 54 pints in the water bath otherwise they are doing pretty well every one of them is sealed still moving air I am going to it is nine o'clock at night right now believe it or not uh, I got a late start on this canning project so tomorrow I'm going to throw another load into the canner of this soup all right there is my soup my jars are all um, I just washed them all up so they are shiny and beautiful all completely sealed. I just wanted to show you them all settled down in the next day. It looks delicious. That's all there is to French market soup. And again, anything goes. Whatever you want to put in your soup, put in your soup. There's no hard and fast rules. I'll put the recipe link in the description box below for this. That link will take you over to my blog. You can print out that recipe card and tuck it away until you're ready for another canning project. This is so good. This is good even if you wanted to feed a crowd for cheap. You can make a huge pot of this soup and it feeds a lot of people. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Visit my links in the description box below. I have Amazon links there that I have all the kitchen products that I use. I also have an Amazon pantry link for some of the harder to find pantry items that I like to use here in my kitchen. Also the canning books that I like to use are listed in my Amazon. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.